Hello, and welcome to me playing more games. This is a game that came out today. It's called Grow Home. Um, I have no idea what it is, actually. It's All I know is it's an open world-ish kind of platformy thing, perhaps? And you play as a botanical robot. That's the only thing I know about it, and I think that sounds pretty cool. So, um, let's dive in and see what it's about. Mission report. Star Planet Expedition. Day 93. Oh, 937. Life-sustaining ecosystem discovered. Scanning for Star Planet. Star Planet located. Activated bot botanical utility droid. Presumably that's me. Oh. Oh, he's adorable. Oh. Explore ecosystem. Grow star plant to 2,000 meters. Harvest seeds for return to Earth. Have fun! Oh. Right, my internal power is currently low. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, what's this? This is a crystal. Grab with the mouse button. You have to kind of hold it. Whoa. <laughs> I really like the art style, actually. It's kind of strange. Whoa. His head moves when... Oh, he's it's, it's adorable. He reminds me of this little mini robot thing that I drew a while ago. Climb with the mouse buttons. Okay. I can see why they said this might have been best with a controller now. Getting the hang of it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Whoa. All right. Grab. Let go. Grab. Grab. Let go. And no, 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 no. Grab. And I'm up. Yes. Right. And a crystal. Ooh. Does that mean I have to collect a hundred crystals by the look of it? I like this actually, even with a keyboard and mouse, which is not entirely suited for keyboard and mouse. It still works pretty well. I'm actually really impressed. This game came out today, incidentally, at the time of recording. A friend recommended it to me, and. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't think I was expecting me to jump. Crumbs, this is remarkable. This place is remarkable. Examine the wildlife carefully and grow that star plant. Uh. It, it has a penis. I'll just ignore that. Um, yeah, this game that came out today. A friend recommended it to me because the art style, and I really like this art style. What a fe what a feathery, potentially floaty flower form. What? What? I don't understand. Right, so I'll take it. Do try not to let go of it. Okay, so... Oh, it acts like an umbrella! Oh, that's adorable! Oh, that's great. And then they grow back as well, apparently. So now I have two. Oh, wow, this is actually really great. This is a really... That's a nice mechanic, actually. Oh, and the f oh, you got a certain time limit on as well. Ah, very nice. What is that? I'm not sure. I want to find out, but I think I'm going to. Are they sheep? Can I grab the sheep? I can grab the sheep. No, I can't. Oh, it's running away from me. Come back, Mr. Sheep. I just want to grab you. I'll take you with me. We will have adventures together, Mr. Sheep. Mr. Sheep! Mr. Fucking Sheep, come here! Oh. Why doesn't he want to be my friend? Fine, I'll go do your mission. And where can I teleport to? Oh, I think. Is that going to teleport me back up there? 
We're sad to navigate E to teleport. Can I press E? Wow. I really like the, the art style on this game. It's fabulous. Oh, so I'm back up here now? Oh, yeah, I'm right over there. Oh, cool. Let's just teleport again so I don't have to bother going up and up. Ah, that's a clever little sort of checkpoint system. Come on, off again. Right. Crystal over there. So I think the goal of this game is just to collect the crystals. Which, yeah. Come on. At least I think so. Not entirely sure. I like games though. There's no clear objective. It's just go wild, do whatever. I love games like that. No. Mr. Sheep, you will stay with me and we will have adventures, Mr. Sheep. I want to build a sheep man. What even? Fine. Fuck off. Stupid little sheep. Right, five crystals out of what are presumably a hundred. Have you? I don't, oh, right, I see. So this thing on the back of... Like, the bit that's on the back, the thing that lights up, is how much of... How much four-leaf flower I have left. Let's climb over there and see what we have. Whoa! Uh. Right, you should be able to guide shoots towards the energy rock. Grab the shoot and hold tight. Grow with E. Wow, that is the most homoerotic thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know if that was intentional, but yeah. Wow, there's some Freudian stuff going on in the dev's mind here. Um, okay. Whoa. Ah. Ugh. The controls are a little bit tetchy, but you know, it's hardly a game breaker. I am using this with a keyboard and mouse when they look. Alright, the spring leaf, extremely elastic, new interesting growth. Whoa! Okay. Um, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Let's go up here then. Can I get the butterflies? I want to see if I can get the butterflies, but I'm currently climbing. Ah, teleporter. So, if I grab the things out, I will have a new location. And there we go. I have a new teleporting location. What? Up oh, with you, man. Right, can I make that jump? We're about to find out. Whee! Yes, I can. And I will get a crystal. That's the ground. That's the crystal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for frack's sake. So if I go over here... And then down here. Oh, oh no no no! God. Oh Jesus! Right, okay. Crystal. Speaking of, I have two copies of Pokemon Crystal that work now because I thought one didn't work, and I bought another one, and then I got the other one to work. Uh. It's not the most annoying thing in the world because I have two copies of a good game, but you know, I'd rather have not spent 25 quid on them both. Game Boy games are fucking expensive, some of them, man, it's ridiculous. But trying to get a copy of Soul Silver for less than £30 is nigh on impossible. There you go. Um, but if you didn't know I'm a fan of Pokemon, you do now. Not that you really needed to know. Please. 
Crap. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, that was close. Right. Okay. So I don't have to hold E. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Why does this have to be so homoerotic? I don't get it. So presumably, if I get the next one in... Oh, it is growing. It's just behind my back. Okay. Didn't that say I have to get to 2,000 metres? This is going to be a long game. I don't think I'll do all of it. I'll do... think, because it said 3 out of 4. If I do... Oh, I've missed a couple. Okay. Oh, no, I haven't. Right, so I will do... That one there, and then I think I will end this video here. I'm thinking of having a game where I'm, j I'm just dicking around in a sandbox, because they are generally relied on to be pretty fun. The falling mechanic in this is fantastic, like with the flower and everything. That really works well, actually. I like that. Right. Press E to grow. Where am I growing it to? Oh, my God. Ah, there you are. I'm gonna get you. Look at the Freudian metaphors! Yes, take my Freudian metaphor. Oh, cool, it's actually gone into that now. Wow. Boom! What fierce growth. Marvellous. Oh, and it's called Mum. Oh, man, this is the most Freudian game I have ever seen in my life. It is a good game, but it is very, very, ooh, awkward with the camera, and very Freudian. Um, and that's a theme that's not really going away. Let's get some more of you. Oh. Ah, falling down. Okay. Um, yeah, I think... With that, I will leave it there. Uh, that is Grow Home. It is strange. A very strange game. Um, but one that I quite like, it, despite its incredibly Freudian themes, and I will probably keep playing, and I think you should go and play too. Next time, yes, I will go and dick around in a sandbox. I mean, this is technically a sandbox, but there's more objective-y linear stuff than whatever so yeah thank you very much for watching this rather strange thing and i will see you next time ta -ra.